guys, Profe here doing a Minecraft tutorial. And what I'm showing you in this tutorial is a storage silo um, that, the, that has light sensors. So when a chest is full or when a chest is able to, not full, when it's able to keep an item, in other words, the um, hopper chest below it is already full, uh, these lights will turn on. So for example, um, let's go ahead and just fill up as much bone meal as we can. I'm going to have to put some more in here. Um, but you will notice, yeah, there we go, that the light turned on because that chest is keeping the bone meal. And as these other chests and hoppers fill up, the lights will turn on going higher and higher. I really like this storage silo because you don't have to go to the top. Uh, you can just put stuff in this chest and it goes through a system get shot up with the soul sand and pushed back down through the system. So you don't have to climb a ladder to the top to put stuff in. You can put it in right here and then you can collect it from this one over here. Uh, and as you can see, it's slowly filling up, which means that this light will go off in just a little bit um, because all the bone meal that's in that chest will get filtered down to here. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as I was making this tutorial, uh, because of the new update, uh, some of the water physics stopped working, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. I am in creative mode. Uh, just installed the new update, so this should work on the update. But you start off by making a four by six area. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Uh, start by making a four by six area. Obviously, if you're doing this in survival, it's going to be a little tricky. Uh, it's going to be trickier than doing it in creative. And you actually make it two blocks deep. Oops. And going to make this two blocks deep. And then on uh, the, if you go over three blocks from the bottom left corner, one, two, three. Uh, and then you go up one, that block is where you're going to put your dropper. Now you wanna make sure that this is a dropper and not a hopper, or a dropper and not a dispenser because if it's a dispenser, it might try and use the item that you're storing. In my case, I'm gonna be storing bone meal. So uh, take a dropper, put it there, uh, and then we have to do our wiring for our dropper in the back. So to do the wiring for this, uh, you are going to need comparators, or uh, a comparator, and a couple of redstone repeaters. So back here, you put down the comparator, then you put instantly a redstone repeater, and then have this create a system that feeds back into itself. And uh, so when you have an item in here, uh, it starts a repeater clock. But notice that the item isn't dispensing. To do that, as I've said in other videos, you have to uh, create a system of redstone that goes back to the dropper. Now for that to work, you think you would put redstone there, but it, then it connects up to the old redstone. So to avoid that, you put a repeater. And then every time there's an item in here, it will dispense uh, whatever that item is. Now from here, we need a system that feeds uh, this dropper. So to do that, and I will say that this build is a little expensive. Uh, you can make it cheaper by skipping some of the uh, the hoppers um, and stuff like that, uh, but it won't look as good. So anyway, uh, you put three hoppers down there leading into that one leading into the dropper and these leading into the other hoppers. You do that by crouching and then clicking. So I'm going to put another hopper right here and on top of this hopper, uh, I'm going to put a chest. So let me grab a chest. Right there. Now our other chest is actually going to go here. So I can start filling some space up with dirt. So I'm going to put some dirt there, dirt there, dirt there. And that way um, I know that this is a complete funnel that goes up. And I can go ahead and put a another chest here and I'm going to fill in everywhere else where I 
don't need that space. And the, the reason I cut it out um, in a four by six is it's just easier to remember. But now you're going back in, filling in your space. Uh, you can actually put a block of dirt on top of the dropper. And then uh, you can fill in these blocks of dirt as well. And uh, we're actually done down here, so you can go ahead and cover up your wiring as well. So once you have your wiring covered, really the only spot that you should see left is this hole. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a system that uh, leads to this chest, which is going to be our output. So to do that, I'm going to take a hopper, put a hopper here, put a hopper here, and uh, put a hopper here. And what that does is it's you're going behind your hole. So if you just put some hoppers here, it'll take it behind your hole. Um, and then this is going to be our tower. Now this part, you get to choose how tall your tower is. So uh, I'm gonna make mine really tall this time. I'm gonna pretend like I'm in survival and I have a ton of materials. So uh, you just keep putting a chest and then a hopper and then a chest and then a hopper. If you really wanted to make this a more efficient system, you could put your chest sideways and then um, attach another chest to the side of that chest. And this will go, that, that way it's just a more efficient build. Um, it uses space better. Uh, you know what, in fact, let's go ahead and do that. You can use single chests, but uh, we can also use double chest, which is what we are going to do. So, uh, double chest here. Um, doing another chest. Oops. Do another hopper. And you are actually going to end with a hopper. So whatever, whatever, um, however tall you want it to be, just make sure you end with a hopper. All right, we'll go one more tall just to make it overpowered and amazing. Amazing. Oh, come on. This is this is actually tricky and creative. Um. There we go and a hopper okay good now that we have our tower uh, which again can be single chests if you want uh, now what we're going to do is make sure that this because this is going to be a um, soul sand elevator we're going to make sure that this raises everything to the top so you have to make sure that all this this is covered so that it creates a tunnel kind of like over here so to do that, uh, you're going to need glass. Let me grab some glass. And up we go. All the way to the top. Now you're going to go um, one block past your last hopper. So however tall that is, you go one block past it. Then, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go over here and fill in this with oak wood planks or whatever planks you want. So that goes up also one past that hopper. So that's how tall this is going to be. Now, what you're going to do is um, I, I'm going to put a block over here to the side. I'll explain that in a minute. Water travels through hoppers now where it used to not. So we're going to have to put a block to the side. And then uh, we are going to put blocks all on top of this. So let me crouch down, put a block, and go all the way up to the top. There we go. So we're starting to build, build out our silo here. It's looking good. Now this part uh, gets a little tricky. So what what we want is we want a comparator to read if there is bone meal in here. So to do that, you're going to have to shift click or crouch click and put a comparator. And then to make this job easier, all I do um, is put a block 
and then a comparator on that, and then a block, and a comparator on that block. So you're putting a block wherever there's a hopper. And um, up here you can actually put two blocks because there's no more chests. Uh, and then down here on each one of these, reading the output, you're going to put a comparator. That uh, comparator should be facing away. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's actually kind of tricky with these double chests. It's usually easier. Let's see if I can get to it. There we go. Now that's what I get for putting double chests. I guess uh, what you could do is put the chests on later so you can get closer. Yeah, there we go. That's what we'll do. Boom. Um, and then you are actually going to do the same thing for this side. If you want to save some materials, you could just have the lights on one side, in which case you could just fill all this space up with wood. But um, I'm going to eliminate the double chest just to make this part easier, and then I'll go in and fill them in. So, here we go. Redstone repeater, make sure it's facing out. Or this isn't a repeater, sorry. The redstone comparator, making sure it's facing out. And I want one for this bottom one as well. Okay. Uh, now that I've done that, I'm going to go back in and do my double chests again. Okay, great. Now what we are going to do is alternate block and then uh, also put lamps in between. So the easy way to do this, to think about this, is think of these blocks as your base for your redstone lamp. And then you need redstone lamps. And you put those here with the comparator reading or leading into the redstone lamps. Uh, what we did on this side, we are also going to do on this side. So again, we're adding a base for the lamp. Base, 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 base. Okay. And then redstone lamp, redstone lamp, redstone lamp, redstone lamp, redstone lamp. Okay, cool. Um, and now what uh, I do is I just fill in, again, you can save materials by not doing this. It's not essential to the build. But um, I'm filling in the back with blocks. And uh, I could leave this exposed if I want, just so that I have access to this. Or I could uh, cover it up like this, in which case I would not have access to the chests um, because they would be... <laughs> they would uh, be blocked by a block. Um, if I made those stairs, you could still have access to a chest, or if you made them glass. Oh boy, I gotta fix this. There we go. Uh, but what I think I'm gonna do instead of doing all of this is I'm just gonna cover them up in the back using a row straight up. I don't think I need access to these chests. Uh, you'll wanna put one right here, which leaves a back for this. And the reason you want a back for this is because water is going to be spilling from this block into here. Now, this is where things got difficult for me. Um, normally, what you do is you, or in the old version, older version of Minecraft, you would take a bucket and you would go ahead and drop water here and then swim to the bottom and put soul sand. The problem is that that doesn't work like that anymore. And the soul, what the soul sand would do is it would turn all of the blocks above it where it, the bubbles were rising up, like in this one, and turn them into source blocks. Well, it no longer does that. Uh, so you're going to need to get to the bottom here. Uh, you will, If you're in survival, you will not need a ladder to get out. Uh, it, the soul sand bubbles will push you up and you break that last block below your dropper, put soul sand, and then you're going to start filling it up with water. And it's going to create bubbles. And then you go to the next one. This one's a little tricky. You're going to have to crouch and do it, or you can turn around and do it to this block here. And wherever there's a source block, the bubbles keep rising. And it's going to push you up as well. 
right, so we're gonna keep going all the way to the top. Very good, and now you'll notice that uh, the water is flowing there. So uh, let's make sure that it works, and then we'll put the top on it. So uh, the in button, the in box is here. Uh, we'll, we'll make it a sugarcane silo, sure. So it's going in the system, shooting up to the top. I love watching this, it's hilarious. Let's see how high it shoots, it's crazy. Um, you could leave it like this, but you might lose some of your product. So it is working, uh, the lights are blinking, which means that's passing through the system, that's good, and it will eventually fill up. So uh, to go ahead and make sure that you don't lose any of your, your items, you put a roof on it. And that way, you won't lose anything. Uh, I'm going for just aesthetic purposes. I am going to uh, leave these like this, and when you go down here, it kind of gives this cool, uh, almost triangle pyramid look. So anyway, uh, there is your storage silo. Again, you can make it as high as you want, and it works. Let's test it one more time. Going in, shooting up, passing through the system, should be able to collect it from here. Yep, and we can do it. All right, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.